What is up fishing addicts on today's video we will be painting some glow in the dark crankbaits. Uh, I designed these uh, crankbaits for uh, springtime coho run and I want to give them a try over uh, for salmon. Um, the reason I um, did this is because I bought a couple of baits over the counter in uh, big box stores and uh, the glow was insufficient let's just put it that way and for the price that you pay um, I find it ridiculous and uh, I'm not that big of a salmon guy but I do love fishing for cohos and they are the better tasting um, salmon trout and uh, a couple of people I posted a couple of pictures in a small video and a couple of people requested it over reddit and Instagram for me to make a video how I make them uh, that they do the super glow um, I have my baits these are these three are almost done and uh, this is storm and this is uh, flicker shot um, I guess it is uh, painted by somebody I'm not sure the, the guy come they, they come and sell them every every fall and spring uh, so let's turn on the uh, UV and uh, we'll give them a couple of seconds blast and we'll turn off the lightning lighting uh, let's see they're all nice and glowy and uh, turn them off as you guys see the storm it's uh, the glow already fainted and the other uh, mass produced painted bait is just uh, going darker and darker and uh, my beauties are uh, still pretty strong and uh, they'll continue to glow um, almost to this fade uh, probably about uh, 45 minutes to an hour they'll get uh, this dark but uh, for the most part uh, 20 30 minutes especially if you're trolling uh, makes a big difference uh, to me it is okay to pull up the lures every 40 minutes or so and uh, give them a little quick uh, UV bath but uh, pulling them the, the, I don't think this is over a minute or two max and as you guys can see, you guys can barely see it probably through the camera. I'll, I'll go through the um, image, but uh, yeah, I mean, look at mine. Uh, they're uh, still going strong. And like I said, uh, uh, they'll, they'll pretty much, they'll go like 45 minutes or so bright. And then about an hour, uh, they get uh, really dim. So um, like I said, these guys are already painted. I just have to put uh, some orange into them. Like I said, cohos love orange for some reason. But uh, let me show you guys how I do it. So it will be a, a quick, a quick uh, paint job. Um, I have a couple of them requested already. So these guys have been drying for about a week. Uh, I just came back from my vacation. So I'm gonna leave this one over here and uh, just go over and see if they have any dust. Um, I use, uh, I got this paint. Uh, unfortunately, you do have to use a lot of it and um, I did reduce it. I did use a reducer, uh, 4012 high performance reducer. Um, Basically, uh, you want to put like, I would say, this much and the rest of it all the way over here uh, with this. It does take a long time. You do have to put, I would say, um, you do have to put about 8 to 10 coats and... It is very time com time consuming because you cannot dry it with a blow dryer or 
uh, heat gun, you have to wait for them to be air dried. Keep in mind, guys, you have to wait for them to be air dry. So, um, if you have nothing to do, it's about two to three day project. Uh, what I do is I blast them before I go to work and I blast them after work for two days. Uh, and uh, sometimes I blast them um, before I go to bed. And then you have to wait on your final uh, dry process. You have to wait about 48 hours. So let me give a, this thing a little quick shake and uh, we'll go over it. I'm done shaking this thing. Um, I use two guns. I bought this from Amazon. This is a pretty cheap one. Um, this one sprays pretty thick. Uh, I can use I, I can use uh, to spray a dozen different types of paint without reducing, but it is not accurate. So I usually I usually use this one for my base uh, coating, and then. Uh, I'll use my uh, Ivata uh, for more precise painting, but at this point, um, on this is just uh, applying a coat and uh, let me turn on the compressor. I do use about 50 psi because this is a thicker paint. And just go over it until uh, it's not uh, until it's not uh, transparent anymore. It turns like a kind of like a mucus color. That's when you know where you at. Like I said, it is a uh, very time-consuming project, but if you want that uh, glow, you're just gonna have to deal with it. But let me see, something is wrong with this. The reason I don't, I didn't uh, use uh, heat gun or a blow dryer is because uh, it changes the chemical something in there and it does not work the way it's supposed to. And I should have cleaned this thing better. It's not spray. We'll paint one of the other ones. But as you guys, I just want to paint this one. As you guys can see, um, well, I hope you can see. This one is a little bit uh, kind of like uh, white, uh, light green. Almost looks like a mucus when you get sick. And then now uh, you have this one. It's almost transparent. What you want to do is, you want to keep on spraying and waiting until your lure looks like this when it's dried out. Once it dries out the, like this, that means you are ready for a clear coat, epoxy, whatever you want to use. Um, once it gets like this, I clear coat it. And then once I clear coat it, Okay, once I clear coat it, uh, this one was out for a week, so I'm just gonna wipe it with the cloth, and then 
I'm gonna switch. Uh, I'm gonna switch to my uh, other gun and uh, do a little bit of orange. I'm just gonna put some cleaner and get it through. Alright, once it's clean, then I'm uh, gonna sh shake the paint real good. And I use uh, from Kratex, I use a lot of Kratex, I really like their uh, paints. I'm gonna use the fluorescent orange. It gives that uh, a great UV shine as well, and uh, glow in the dark. I think it's a great combo. And uh, I'm gonna reduce my uh, PSI to 40. Okay, so I'm gonna spray a couple of times. Um, get the cleaner out and uh, and uh, just want to hold the bill and just go nice on a straight line Now, when you're spraying it on top, some of the sides are going to get that uh, secondary spray, which is fine. That, that will give you guys a... Uh, nice effect. But uh, pretty much that's all I want to do. And uh, on this one, I do like to set it with heat a little bit. And uh, once it dries out, and uh, underneath it, there's that uh, glow paint, uh, phosphorus paint, and then uh, you have, uh, it's going to start glowing a little bit of orange. And I'll put some in the belly. So pretty much it, this is what you get. Uh, like I said, it's gonna go bright in the dark and uh, during the uh, low light conditions, you don't have to pull it out, that uh, UV will kick on and that will be amazing. So let me know down below in the comments um, if you guys wanna see a more detailed uh, crank paint, crank big painting and uh, um, jig making uh, videos so I can post more of them 
but uh, pretty much this is it and uh, if you guys are were looking to make your lures uh, glow in the dark um, if you have the equipment um, go for it I hope this helps you guys out uh, that said I gotta get going uh, for some uh, reverse smallmouth action uh,